Hi everyone, it's Fairy Witch One here. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. This is a part of Fairy Magic that I'm very excited to do because it's my favourite part of the lot. It's Fairy Tales. I adore Fairy Tales. I have done since I was a young child. They're a big part of my life. I grew up with them. I know most of them off by heart. So I'm very excited to do this. Before I get going, I'm going to read you a poem called Fairy Tale. Now deep in the midst of the woodland glade, sleeping beauty there is laid. On a four-poster bed, all covered with roses, in enchanted slumber she doth repose. Not far away, a magical tower stands within a fairy bower. Imprisoned, Rapunzel holds on to hope as she coils her hair into a rope. As the clock starts to strike, Cinderella must flee. She abandons the, abandons the ball and the gay company. Fleeing the palace as the twelfth stroke chimes, leaving the gift of a glass slipper behind. Taking the path deep in the woods is a pretty young girl in bright red hood. Taking joy in her day, trusting all that she sees, never guessing a wolf hides in the trees. As each pretty princess wanders the page, she teaches a lesson that repins with age. Each tale has a message and a magical call to invoke the enchantment and read them once more. Ah, I love that little poem. I, I love fairy tales. I'm just going to admit that. I'm going to be a big kid and say I love fairy tales. And my one of my dreams is I'd love to go to different countries like Japan, back to America and so forth but I'd also love to go to Germany and to the Black Forest where the Grimm's brothers wrote most of their fairy tales that is that is a big place for me to go I would love to go see the forest of Hansel and Gretel and Snow White and Red Riding Hood, that would be amazing anyway now fairy tales are stories that carry a moral lesson within them they are a branch of mythology that most people are very familiar with and they have been used for centuries to teach youngsters about values, morals and codes of, ho ho of honour. However, it is only relatively recently that fairy tales have been viewed as a form of entertainment that is solely for children and nothing could be further from the truth. But fairy tales have a wealth of symbolism hidden within them that is just as useful to adults as it is to children. In fact, Fairy tales have been used as a psychological device to analysis, analyse the inner workings of the mind. Most notably used by C.G. Jung. To witches and magical practitioners, fairy tales are a valuable source of reference. Hidden within each popular fairy tale is a core of magic and pagan symbolism. This shouldn't be too surprising as most popular fairy tales have been in circulation in some form or another since the time of the great goddess when the world revered a female deity. Cinderella, for example, had been passed down orally for many generations when it was finally written down for the first time in China during the 9th century. Although each fairy tale has been rewritten many times and several versions Several versions of each may be in existence. The moral and magical core of the story usually remains the same. Fairy tales hold a key place in fairy magic as they are the vehicle that first introduces us to the realm of the elementals. We can relate the lesson of each tale to our own lives and we can take comfort and inspiration from the heroes and heroines. They portray over the next few pa over the next few videos I'm going to try and show the magic within the world of the fairy tales so hopefully you'll enjoy that and keep watching for more um, there'll be a few for you a lot of, there's going to be a few poems as well for you so I hope you enjoy that um, apologies for my reading I'm getting a bit tongue-tied lately so I do apologize um, stay tuned for more videos and bless it